Hey everybody, how's it going? So as requested, we're gonna take a deeper dive into DNS and we're gonna look specifically at glue records. What are they and why you might need them? So first thing we're gonna do is run through a little bit of a standard DNS resolution here. So our little guy here is trying to resolve a domain name. So first thing that's gonna happen is he's gonna reach out to what's called the DNS root zone. Now this root zone is controlled by the IANA and it's basically a very large database that contains all of the top level domain lists. So that's going to be sent back as a return response. And then we're going to say, oh, okay, well, we now have this TDL server. So we're going to reach out and say, hey, top level domain server, I need to know where the authoritative server for my, my domain name is. And it's going to say, oh, I got that. And it sends that back as a response. Now, our last request is going to head off to our authoritative name server. Now, here's where glue records come into place. And here's where we kind of can run into what's called a circular reference issue. So what happens is when you have a self-hosted virtual private server and you're running both the domain name resolution, so your DNS service, and you're also acting as the authoritative domain server, and those are on the same server, you can basically go back and forth looping over and over again because it can't tell where the DNS is without a little extra help. So how do we break that authoritative domain cycle? Well, that's where glue records come into place. So what we do is we basically tell the top level domain server that, hey, you know what? We specifically want you to know that our glue record tells us, okay, we know where our domain name level server is. And then we say, we also know where our authoritative level server is, and those are on the same virtual private server. So that's done by putting an A record, and I'll go into those later. So hopefully you guys learned something. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.